Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the self-titled Caustic Window album. Caustic Window is one of the many pseudonyms of famed electronic music producer Richard D. James, aka Aphex Twin. And this new record from Caustic Window isn't really as new to him as it is to us. Allegedly, it is a group of songs that were set to be released around 1994, but only made it to test pressing. And now it's all over the internet thanks to the efforts of a Kickstarter, which raised almost $70,000 just to buy a copy of this test pressing and then lay it to digital and pass it out amongst the backers of said Kickstarter. And now, miraculously, one of these digital copies is sitting in front of me. Cal Chesta burned me a CD of it. How are you still running Windows 95? It was a good OS! And from the 90s, just like this record, so I guess it's appropriate. Seeing how this record comes out of that early, mid-90s part of Richard's career, it doesn't sound too unlike his first two Ambient Works albums, or his Analog Bubble Bath EPs under the AFX name. There are even a few tracks here that dabble in the more distorted, harsh, abrasive rhythms that appeared on his I Care Because You Do album that dropped in 1995, though there isn't really anything on this record that is as lavish, lush, or as layered. On the whole, this Caustic Window LP is pretty skeletal and straightforward, but that is not necessarily a bad thing since Aphex Twin's early work is known for doing a lot with a little, technologically and sonically. There is success on this album with tracks like Stomper, which is incredibly monstrous, tense, and dark, or the really freakish and distorted and noisy track Cunt, or Squidge in the Fridge, which is actually a really cute, tiny, quirky piece of acid techno with some really pretty and serene piano keys. But with how stripped back and basic for Aphex Twin these songs are, some of them run a little tedious, like the song Flutey, or Jazz Phase, or Mumbly. There's the song Fingery as well, which to me is a track that sounds like it grabs parts from three different compositions and just mashes them together with a really tense techno beat, some whimsical synth odyssey melodic leads, a loud in-your-face stuttering bass synth, and a cowbell. It's just like a Frankenstein monster of a track limping around going, Kill me. It's a mixed bag. It's a little hit or miss, but it's still a decent collection of tracks. And an interesting reminder of how far electronic music has come since 20 years ago. Now this thing may not be the absolute gem under the unturned stone that everybody was hoping for, but it's worth checking out, even though Richard was already well on his way to better things on his next few records. I'm feeling a strong six. On this LP, transition. If you've given this thing a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Caustic Window, Aphex Twin, forever.